Smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, and playing guitar. Yeah, that's that's all I ever do. We're a bunch of old crabby guys. <laughs> he said, "Well, look, we're going to record that song of yours, whether you come or not." So I, I thought I'd better go. So you've got us from all over the place. You know, it's kind of cool. You know, so Nashville's where we meet. Got to record music first, and now we have enough original material to to go out and do a set. So here we are, Richmond, making a new record. It's not a new record, it's our first record. Okay, so here we are, Richmond, making our first record. Rhythm and blues, rock and roll. Take the time and walk with me for a while. Cool. We're not together on that. I mean, we should all kind of... Seth, can you hear me? If you listen on the G chord, two packages before the breakdown. The uh, uh, frame drum did not come in till many measures later. Exactly. I, I don't know if we were on the right cycle. Up tonight, don't care if I get distracted, at least then I want to be. No it's an octave frequency thing, my brother. Well, Phil and I had an idea about 10 years ago to make more of a rock band. He first called me a while ago, some time ago. He put this together, my friend Dave, the guitar player. He showed up in, in New York when we were playing B.B. King's, and, uh, and uh, we decided that we will, in fact, throw a band together. <laughs> Richmond, the band. It's going in a good direction. Down at the corner cafe where she was looking so pretty that I just had to say after the first chorus, it's the dynamic of the thing, maybe the cymbals, maybe... <laughs> no problem. Am I in the way, Jay? Um, Every time he has an idea, do that. <laughs> we have found the fucking answer. <laughs> I, I love him. I love him. We go... <laughs> We came here and found Craig Cranf, an old friend of Eric and myself. He was drumming, I was bass playing, and we hooked up with Flo and Eddie's last two Columbia records in 75 and 76. They were a legendary Hollywood rhythm section for Flo and Eddie and Kim Carnes, all kind of crazy 80s acts. So we found Craig, called him up, said, hey, can you still play? He said, oh yeah. What do you do for a living? I pound shit. I make noises. I like that. He doesn't understand. Can't teach the wind to blow. Can't teach a tree to grow. Can't teach a river to run and flow. Can't teach my woman to love to know. Steve Bassett, I just met him back in Virginia, you know. And he's a very cool guy. Blue-eyed soul singing, Virginia legend. When I was a kid, a teenager, he was sort of one of the cats we'd look up to, Steve Bassett. So for me to even be in a band with Steve Bassett, it's like, fuck, I got Steve Bassett in my band. <laughs> When you finally meet this group of people that, that everyone, that you get along musically, you have musical conversation with your friends, and it puts a smile on your face, and that's, that's a real rarity. So yeah, this is, and so it's a pleasure to be down here. Yeah, this has been a, this has been a fun one. Hidden E chord, hang on for dear life, you know what I'm saying, so.
<laughs> He's a producer's son. <laughs> That's what you get when you're a producer. <laughs> He's a fucking producer. See this shit, Jay? Do the fucking yeah, I mean, the record fucking produced boy. by Eric Scott and Dave Resnick. How about that? Look at that right there. That should be on the back cover. <laughs> It looked like Michael said. It's like Mike and son. Can you do me a favor? Take it, take it from the bridge. All right, well, I just won't say shit. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ah! It'd be faster last night, so maybe I'm wrong. No, I just think you're, you're playing a great. This, this is a hundred. Let me hear. For 92, I'm <laughs> fucking pretty good. <laughs> hey, got him a 74 year old girlfriend. Did we just stop taking them and then they were gone? Well, they were gone, I well, think. They were they gone were. and then we had to stop taking them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's how they went.